Okay, hey, hey. Well, look at that sun across my collar there. Uh, yep, we'll make this the last video. Yep, the sun is getting lower and lower toward the horizon. Yes, I'll put us into shape here, and I'll ask our English learners three words for review, all starting with EX. Okay, completely kill off forever as some terrible bugs that cause disease. We'd like to, Miriam, exterminate those bugs, but if they no longer exist, go out of existence, become non-existent, go extinct, right? Then we won't have to exterminate those bugs once they become extinct. Oh, but how about this? An EX word for too expensive, too fancy, too too costly. Ho ho, EXT, Julia's nodding. Extravagant, yes. We purchased an extravagant chandelier. There you go. Well, here's the first slide. We realized Lila had danced better than anyone in her age group. Ooh, the than anyone else, Julia. Back to you there, yeah, than anyone else. We realized Lila had danced better than anyone else in her age group. Little Lila. She was tremendous in three activities beyond regular school classes. Oh, Miriam, yeah, you've heard, yes, extracurriculars, okay? Yeah, well, there's tennis, there's basketball, and there is softball. Yeah, she's extraordinary in all three of those extracurriculars. Extraordinary. Tremendous. She was extraordinary in three extracurriculars. Extraordinary extracurriculars. Let's send back for criminal charges the felons for their getting money or goods by threats. Ah, somewhat awkward, Asa. Can you? Extradite. Yes, yeah, send back for criminal charges and extortion, right? Ooh, look at the lemonade stand, everybody. Yeah. Are those little boys using some extortion to get free lemonade? Let's extradite the felons for their extortion. Most important, none of the lightning victims were seriously hurt. And there's our friend, none, charge. Yeah, okay, yeah, not one. And then singular, was. Right, not one, was. Most important, not one of the lightning victims was seriously hurt. Yeah, we keep everybody happy, charge. The squad quickly stopped from burning the fire on the outside surface. Oh, stop from burning the fire? Randy, that's not good English wording, is it? Now we'd have to say stop the fire from burning, but what's the word? Extinguished, yes. We extinguish the fire on the external surface, yeah, outside. The outside surface, external. The squad quickly extinguished the fire on the external surface. She will praise the dentist for taking out her broken tooth. Now, oh, it was painful, that broken tooth, and oh, is she happy to have it out. So she will 
extol the dentist for extracting her broken tooth. Extol, extracting. She will extol the dentist for extracting her broken tooth. Extol, extracting. Do you have a fire extinguisher in your house? Well, you should. Okay. Oh, Julia says, oh, well, one on each level. Basement, first floor, second floor. Way to go, Julia. Three of them. Do you have a fire extinguisher in your house? Directly from the original source. Not second hand, not third hand. Not uh, along the grapevine, no, but direct, yeah, Marcelo, straight from the horse's mouth, yes. I got the news straight from the horse's mouth, right from the original source. Since Marla referred to my brother and I as gentlemen, I know she's mixed up. Oh. Referred to my brother and I. Oh, back to this, this type of mistake. Yeah, okay, charge. Okay, drop brother and. Okay, since Marla referred to I as a gentleman. No, referred to me, so to my brother and me. And certainly not charge's least favorite checking out word myself not that no since marla referred to my brother and me as gentlemen i know she's mixed up the cop radiated confidence about removing my car from the sinkhole oh look at this on the left here oh look at that hole in the road yeah Oh, the ground gave way underneath. There must have been some washout, and oh, the car went into the sinkhole. Oh, but the the cop, Miriam, exuded, yes, about extricating. He exuded confidence. The cop exuded confidence about extricating my car from the sinkhole. Oh, I'm glad the cop could do it, direct it. To be conservative in spending, I'll buy fewer iced up foods. Oh, iced up, frozen. Yeah, we see that right away, frozen. And frugal, conservative in spending. Smart, uh, smart about not overspending, frugal. To be frugal, I'll buy fewer frozen foods. Yeah, that, that'll be smart, Marla. At the festival, I only had one chance to win a stuffed koala. Uh-oh, charge. Yeah, there it is. Only. It just works in the same way that just does. Yeah, only, just. We move those words right in front of the thing to which they most apply. Right in front of the word one here. Yeah. At the festival, I had only one chance to win a stuffed koala. We thought the person fleeing from the police looked awfully poorly groomed in her dirty overalls, oh, uh, she looked frumpy when she was running from the police. Uh, poorly groomed. Well, how can you be nicely groomed when you're a fugitive person fleeing from the police? We thought the fugitive looked awfully frumpy in her dirty overalls. Fugitive. Frumpy. If I drop the ball, 
our march toward the end zone will be useless. No, we've gone all that way for nothing. It'll be fruitless if I fumble, if I drop the ball. If I fumble the ball, our march toward the end zone will be fruitless. Did you get engaged at Minnehaha Falls this spring? Oh, oh, you did. Oh, romantic. Oh, wow. Look at the falls. To take strong, immediate action and do something and not just a little something, okay? To, oh, idiom man. To grab the bull by the horns, yes. To stop delaying. Stop beating around the bush. Yeah. Grab the bull by the horns. Oh, and here for discussion. Oh, would fit right in, wouldn't it? Yeah, we're finally having spring. I can't believe that there's some sunshine. Yeah. Talk about a springtime job in the yard. Yeah raking up all the winter debris. Although we played badly at the start, we did more better in the second half. Oh, we played badly, that's correct. Played is action, right? We played badly. We did more better? No, better doesn't take more in front of it. No, that's... that's... That's double kill, we'd say. Yeah. We did better. Right. Although we played badly at the start, we did better in the second half. It'll take a complete, strong attack to discourage their defense. Oh. It'll take a complete, a full-blown is right, Miriam. Good memory. Full-blown barrage, a strong attack, a barrage to frustrate, yes, to block, to discourage their defense. It'll take a full-blown barrage to frustrate their defense. Full-blown barrage, frustrate. Getting a productive crop of grapes will take a total effort, well, full, not total effort, full effort, and fruitful, yeah, productive, fruitful, producing a lot, productive. Getting a fruitful crop of grapes will take a full effort. Marla provided cocktail shrimp, plus she put out delicious crackers. Uh-oh, George. We're back to you for mid-sentence connector word. Yeah, in that capacity, we don't use plus. No, simply and. You're right. Marla provided cocktail shrimp and she put out delicious crackers. Our tallest fully qualified altar boy loves chocolate bakery item. Woohoo! Church, oh, he knew this one right away. Church, yeah, fudge. Not too shabby, right? Fudge. Yeah, oh. Full-fledged, yeah, fully qualified. Our tallest full-fledged altar boy loves fudge. You can follow through on your diet if you eat more type of food here. Oh, look at the picture on the left. What type of food is that, Miriam? Fruit, yeah, fruit. Well, look at this chimpanzee. Uh, he's having a banana, but the peeling ended up on his head. Yeah. You can fulfill your diet 
if you eat more fruit. There they are. Fulfill fruit. Julia plans to give American gifts to her relatives in Seoul. Oh, Julia, on your trip. Yeah, oh, there you go. American girl dolls and a cowboy hat. Hey, yeah, or one of your brothers, okay? The cowboy hat. Julia plans to give American gifts to her relatives in Seoul. I agree. I, I am in no disagreement whatsoever. Idiom man, I'm on the same page. Yeah, I'm in agreement. I'm on the same page with you. I'm on the same page. It now looks like Marla will embroider five days in a row. Well, that's a long stretch, Marla. Okay, five days in a row. It looks like Marla. Uh oh, what can we put in place of like? As if, Randy. And if it works, we must do it. There you go. It now looks as if Marla will embroider five days in a row. As if in place of like. They'll need more propane energy source to cook those pork links on the grill. Ooh, they look good, church. Yeah, to fry them on the grill, yes. Fry, and we'll need more fuel, more propane, more propane fuel. They'll need more propane fuel to fry those pork links on the grill. I plan to knock down our shed, but I'll keep your tree fort not broken apart. Oh, I'll keep the tree fort intact, right, Randy? The tree fort I'll keep intact. I won't break that down. No, I intend to knock down our shed, though. Intend. I intend to knock down our shed, but I'll keep your tree fort intact. Intend. Intact. Julia rarely ever. Uh, uh, uh. No, that's an automatic. Never do we use ever after rarely. The same applies to seldom. We never say rarely ever and we never say seldom ever. There you go. Julia rarely buys milk duds or whoppers at the snack bar. Let's soon strengthen our efforts to have Miriam appeal for us. Yeah, we can go to Miriam and have her intercede for us. Yes, she can be our representative. She'll appeal for us. So let's intensify our efforts to persuade Miriam to do it, to intercede for us. Let's soon intensify our efforts to have Miriam intercede for us. Sylvia has the intelligence for mentally picturing abstract things. Uh, she does. She's got great imagination. She has the intellect for imagining, right, Miriam, intangible things. Yeah, intangible, uh, abstract, not real untouchable, okay? Sylvia has the intellect for imagining intangible things. Intellect, imagining, 
intangible. Does Grandpa intend to prune his fruit trees on Arbor Day? Oh, well, he probably intended to, but probably got washed out this last Friday. Yeah, Arbor Day. Sick, yeah, ill, not feeling good at all. Uh-oh, idiom man. Under the weather is right. Yeah, he's under the weather. Can't go to work today. Oh, he's under the weather. And here's our last page for video 17. Since Marla hasn't made a sweater lately, she'll try and finish a new one soon. Oh, she'll try and finish, Marla. Try to finish, right. After try, to instead of and. There you go. She'll try to finish a new one soon. Try to finish. Freud did thorough research on premarital sex. Yeah, he did. And, oh, oh, sex? Intercourse, yes, intercourse. And... Oh, thorough, intensive, yes. Oh, he really dug into it. Freud did intensive research on premarital intercourse. It is our plan to get involved with, with all the new quarterbacks. Uh-oh, we need some smoothing, Asa. Yep, it's our intent, yes, to interact, yeah, interact with all the new quarterbacks. It is our intent to interact with all the new quarterbacks. Siha won't join Andrea because she hates seals and dolphins. <laughs> and Marla says it right away. She says, who in the world is she? Who in the world is she? Yes, it, it could be Siha, and it could be Andrea. Yeah, because she... Okay, you can fix it, Marla. All right, I know you can. Because she hates seals and dolphins, Siha won't join Andrea. See, then she can refer only to Siha, or to Siha only. When we grab away from the intended person, the note, let's hope it's understandable. Ah, Randy, you do the smoothing, can you? Grab away from the intended, per yes, intercept, okay, yeah, intercept a note. Let's hope it's intelligible, yes, understandable. When we intercept the note, let's hope it's intelligible. A smart doctor can handle a stressful situation. Yeah. Oh, intelligent. Yep, the intelligent doctor yeah, can handle an intense situation. Yes, intelligent, intense. An intelligent doctor can handle an intense situation. Stressful, intense. Yeah. Well, it's smart, intelligent. Will Asa buy more stones for his retaining wall, Julia? Do you know? Oh, oh she says, he's getting another load tomorrow. Wow, more work. Okay. It often helps to consider someone else's opinion. Okay, yeah. Two uh, minds working on a problem. That can be better. Or, idiom man. Yes. Sometimes 
two heads are better than one, sometimes two heads are better than one, and that, yes, that was the end of video 17, and it's the end of our recording day, okay? Yeah. Thanks again, everybody. Yeah, we, we had several good videos, I think, okay? Thanks. And when we get rolling again tomorrow, it'll be video 118. We'll see you then, everybody, okay? Bye-bye.